Hey, what's up, JD Aliens? Hey, it's 2020, man, is here. The new year is here, which means we got to get our crap together. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our crap together together. Let's do it. All right, so here's the deal. I wasn't even planning on doing a showcase or any kind of video for this. I just ordered it for my own personal use. But after opening it and then looking at it in more detail, I discovered that this needs to be shared with the rest of the world. Now, Nomadic is a great company. It's kind of a, you know, a small kind of startup company. They're well, they're not new, but you know, they're kind of small. I reviewed one of their bags on this channel before. Excellent bag. And my son is loving that thing in college. He, he says it is crazy useful. So definitely check out the video for that bag. In that video, I also showcased the Nomadic Notebook, which I have been loving since the release of that video. Check it out, man. It's got these dual straps right here. So you got a little strap to keep it closed. And then you got a little strap to keep your page and stuff like that. And it's just an open notebook with lines on it and stuff then it's got some blank paper and stuff that you can just basically customize it or take whatever notes you want to take it's also got three ribbons a black one a red one and a gray one and it's got a pocket back here with some uh, whiteboard paper and a folder yeah it's a the pocket is a folder <laughs> but that's all back there and i love this notebook man i've been using it since the release of that video and it just kind of stays by my side and i keep all my notes that pop up into my head and i've also kind of structured this thing to be kind of a planner so that's what this video is about. I decided to order the Nomadic Planner. I looked all over the internet and I saw little videos that just didn't, they didn't tell me what I was getting. <laughs> I looked at pictures and everything. And I was like, all right, I'm kind of a particular guy when it comes to planners. I can't just use any planner that's out there. I'm really quirky and I need structure and customized stuff in my planner. So that's why I decided to make my own in the front side of my notebook here. But I was looking at the Nomadic Planner and nothing showed in detail what it was about and what it could offer me. So let me show you right here what this thing has to offer because I think it is amazing and it needs to be shared. Nomadic needs to be promoting this thing because it's that awesome. In this pretty little box here, you get your user manual, which I'll put off the side because this is gonna be important in the moments to come as we get into this. Now, as far as the look, I ordered the black one. They have, it only comes in black and mint. I ordered the black one uh, because the mint wasn't, you know, it wasn't my thing. <laughs> so it looks identical. Like at first glance, it looks identical to the notebook. This is the notebook. This is the planner. Uh, nothing is different about them. Even the ribbons are the same. You get uh, a black one in there, a, uh, a gray and a red, and even the pocket in the back is the same. So it's identical to that. In that regard, you get your whiteboard paper there and you get a little pullout calendar. This one, I think this is like one of the last ones made in 2019 because this says 2019 on it. It's like a, a full year calendar right here. And then this one says 2018. So if you're ordering in 2019, hopefully you get an updated one. Uh, that's not something I'm worried about. So let's just stuff it back in there. Everything else is the same, man. So we'll put this to the side and we will close up this box because we're not going to need it anymore because we'll get our lives together. Now, keep the instructions right here and I'm going to turn my ISO down because this is paper and I want you to be able to see what I'm looking at as we open it up. Get in here, man. Get in here. All right, so you got some literature right here you can read from the Nomadic team. At the beginning of the planner, you see there, it says goals. These are long-term goals. So you can write your long-term goals right here in a spot for notes. Then as we go into the actual uh, planner portion of it, this is like the, uh, the, the month view right here. And you can see that nothing is written in here or nothing is typed in here. It's all customizable. So even if you buy this thing in like March, you know, you don't have to miss using three months worth because you can just put March right there or December, whenever you start using it and you can customize it that way. What I really like about this thing was uh, at first glance, I said, okay, well, I can put my own calendar in there. I can put my goals and stuff right here. You see right there, I can put my goals and all kinds of stuff, right? And then you turn the page. So that's the month view. And then you got five weeks. Let me back up just the taste. You got five weeks. This is Sunday through Saturday. There are five of these. It looks to be in every month. And then you get five week layouts and then you get another month layout for the next coming month. And then you can just kind of start over from there. But let's just focus on one month since we're in uh, the beginning of January. And this is where it gets fun. They've got it laid out by hour. All right, from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now, I was a little, uh, personally, I was a little bit intimidated by this hourly stuff because I don't want to be, uh, 
uh, micromanaged that way. <laughs> so I was a little intimidated by that, but hold off on your thoughts because this is going to get better. Then you got an activity right here that it says you can do. Let me see. Let me zoom in on that. Uh, can I get closer? Can I get closer? There we go. So this activity says each day this week before going to bed, write down three things that you're grateful for. I was doing that anyways. I had that laid out in here. I hadn't really used this thing this much last week because it was such a crazy week. But right here, highlighted in pink on every page is gratitude. That's what I'm grateful for. And I would write it down every morning before I got started. Then I've got Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I kind of, you know, my, my, my crap to do right there. So I was using that. Here, they've kind of helped me out, man. Right there, they got an activity. But the next week, what happens? It's a completely different activity. So you can look there. Every week, you're going to have a new activity to do for that week. So that's going to keep you engaged in your own life and stuff like that. So that's awesome that it does that. Like, you know, a planner, that's not the planner's responsibility. That's your responsibility. But the planner is holding you accountable. I really love that. Now let's go into goals and tasks. All right. So at the bottom of this page, it says goals and tasks. So I see this layout here and it feels very restrictive at first, but we'll get into the instructions here and I'll tell you more about it. Let's scoot over to the other side. We got space for notes. And then if we go to the top left, we got another space for notes if you turn your book this way. So now let's take a deep dive into the user manual because that's what actually blew my mind about this planner. I thought it was just gonna be a nice utility to have. Turns out the user guide makes it that much more awesome. And this is something I never saw on the internet. So that's why I decided to do this video. So let's get in here, back up a little bit so you can see what I'm looking at. There you go. All right, so in the beginning, here we are. So you got your calendar layout. It has a little diagram here. So you got your A, that's your uh, full blown calendar right there, your month. And what it's telling you is in this A section right here, can you see that at the top of the calendar? I didn't even notice this at first, man. But at the top of the calendar, the main calendar, the big one, there are three daily tasks. So I, I did notice that those were there, but I didn't notice what they could be utilized for. So you'll put your task there and it's telling you if you flip through here, just flip. It's telling you that if your three daily tasks are, let's say you want to exercise more, you want to study and then you want to plan your day. And this is saying every day of the month, you want to focus on one or all three of these items right here. What you're going to do is next, let's just say we're starting at Wednesday. You see here, one, two, three, you have these three check marks in your calendar, in your monthly calendar. So if you look right here, hopefully that's showing up, one, two, three. So it coincides with this right here. So if you exercise, go ahead and put your check mark right there. If you study, put your check. If you planned your day at some point, check right there. Let's say on Thursday you forgot to study, so you leave that one blank. Now over time, you're going to start to see your trends. And that's what this says. Over time, you're going to start to see your trends on what you slack up on or, or what you're missing out on or what you're really doing a good job at continuing. That's a great addition as a habit tracker. Clutch. Now let's skip around to E where it says goals and tasks. So goals and task is right here on your calendar, on your monthly calendar, and it is on your weekly calendar. So I saw just a few lines here and I was like, well, damn, how am I supposed to figure this one out? So what they're telling you right here is to focus on three goals at a time, right? So you'll have your main goal right here, and then you'll have three things, three things that will help you reach that goal in the most efficient and effective way. And that will help you get to that goal. And you have that at the beginning of every month in this monthly plan section right here. And you'll have it every week. So if you have a monthly goal, great. You can put all your uh, bullet items right there to help you get to that goal. And then if you have weekly goals as well, you can have them right there. So nice to have your goals structured and laid out and especially to have like step by step elements of it that will help you get there and achieve every last one of them. Next, I want to skip around to the daily priorities. It's, it's in the week section and it's on both pages, right? So you got your daily priorities. You got four blocks for each day. So those are just things that you really need to get done that particular day and you can check it off right there. I was actually doing that in my planner. Let me show you in my, my self-made planner. I would have little check marks, you know, when I needed to do stuff, I would just put my little check marks there. But here it's so organized and laid out for me. And it's just, it's just so nice to have it all in front of me along with all the rest of this stuff. I got plenty of space for notes right here and I got plenty of space for notes on the uh, left hand top or the top left hand side. And unless you go through your week mastering your life and by the time the week's over, you feel so accomplished. 
Like, I cannot wait. It just came today and I decided to turn the camera on, but I can already tell this is gonna help me be so much more productive and just feel better about what I've done with my day. I mean, seriously, I'm the kind of person that wakes up in the morning, the sun is like right here, right? This is the sunrise. And then like, I can feel the sun just going like this, going down. And I'm like, wait, 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 I didn't get anything done. And then the sun is gone and it's dark and it's the next day again. And I'm struggling the next day to stay productive and stay on task and stuff like that. I'm an entrepreneur, so my day is what I make it. And I really have to master how my hours go by because my hours are worth a lot of money for me. So <laughs> this thing right here, this planner right here is clutch. I'm so excited to use it. And I really just wanted to give you a much better a view of it than I had before I made my purchase and let you understand why it was such an important purchase for me. For whatever reason, seeing the instructions on this thing, like who, who would have thought uh, a planner needed instructions? It really doesn't need them if you're smarter than me, but it really woke me up as to how to use this thing and I'm just pumped up about using it. I'm really glad it still uh, maintains all the cool stuff that Nomadic thought to put in here, like the three ribbons, uh, this band right here, and then the outside band as well. And the pages are offset so you can slide a pin in there and keep it with you. You. But the fact that I have the habit tracker, the, the daily activity or the weekly activity and the, uh, the to-do list kind of stuff on there and the goals all on one page. I couldn't achieve it doing it myself, but it's all on one page in this small book. Look at my hand. That's how big this book is. It's not very big or heavy at all. To get that much information and that much data of your day or your week or your month, uh, you usually see these big gargantuan planners that are typically made for women. <laughs> and you know, I'm not discriminating or nothing, but dudes need to plan stuff too, man. And I'm really grateful for Nomadic doing this. So shout out to Nomadic for thinking for me, man. I love of this planner and I haven't even written anything in it yet. Oh man, look, I hope this video was helpful for you guys because the stuff that was out there on the internet that I saw wasn't really helpful for me. So I hope I, I did a good job. I hope I did a good service for you guys. Either way, I'm glad you came and hung out with me for a little bit. And if you like what you saw, I got plenty more stuff to show on this channel. So make sure you follow me in the links below. I got two other channels and I got social media. So follow me on there too. For now, I got to get out of here and go get my crap together and plan my life, man. Make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 no. Sit back down. We got to talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right, then. Hit the subscribe button. There you go. Reach down there. There you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You got to come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right. I knew you would. All right, man. I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?